Yo, what's going on guys? Muscle Muffin here and in this video we'll be ranking all fruits from my experience over the past 15 months of playing this game. I'll be ranking it on the, the basis of what's the funnest fruit to use in dungeons, leveling with friends, and just actually having fun with the fruit. I won't base any of this on PvP. I'll do a PvP tier list of fruits at a later date. But in this video, we'll be ranking all the fruits from best to worst overall enjoyability. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and let's get into it. These fruits, I mean, they're fine if you don't have a fruit and you don't want to get Sword Style or Black Leg. I mean, it is what it is. I heard Spin isn't that bad. I heard Kilo is terrible and Suke's been around so long, everyone's just sick of seeing it. Moving on into the C lists, let's look at the rare fruits real quick. Now, Barrio is my first fruit. Uh, it's going to have to be a, a C. I mean, if you put a lot into fruit, Barry has the biggest shield ever, and I believe it does 80 damage per tick, and it's got like a two second cooldown if I remember correctly. Let's say gum. Now gum, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give it a C tier too. I don't think it's that great. I mean, some people enjoy it for PvP, but this isn't a PvP tier list. This is leveling, enjoyability, and fun with friends. Now the single target hits with it are so boring. At least Barry, it has like an AoE hit. Next, we're going to go with Mero. Now, Mero, I remember my boy Survivor Greg when we started, I had Barry. He had Mero. For leveling, I mean, I think it had like a couple of moves that could kind of like hit a group of stuff, but it wasn't that bad. I, I would give it a C. Most of the rares, I believe, are going to be in C. Like Bomb, Horo, I, I mean, they're all kind of on the same tier. Bomb is like almost B. Because you can AoE a lot. It's almost B, but it's not. If it was like a, a B plus, it, it would be there. Let's start with Zushi. What do I think about Zushi? Now, as AoEs are pretty big and it can do good damage, but the fact that it flings everything, it screen shakes, it does all that. But then again, actually, it can solo OG dungeons. Yeah, the fact that you can just solo dungeons on your own and you can gain other fruits from it. I, I just think Zushi is a very good fruit for people that are just starting out, hanging with their friends, trying to do everything in the game. I, I'm going to put Zushi in eighty. I know it's the lowest valuable, but when it comes to what you can do in the game with it, you know, there's a lot. Let's go with Hiei. Hiei was the first legendary Logia that I ever ate. You know, you could walk on water with it. You could do Sea Beasts. You could do Krakens. You could do dungeons with a friend. He is a, it's a tough one to solo with, but the E-move, every one second, you can do up to 80 damage. I'm going to say he, he is 80. I know, I know it's hard to solo with, but in the right hands. Moving on to another fruit that I have not tried, but I've always respected is Goro. Hashtag give it flight. I'm going to put it in B tier for me. I feel like it's just a bad version of Mera. It like kind of has everything Mera has, but Mera can fly and it just has huge AoEs with Mera. So next, I'm just going to skip Goro really entirely. Like for me, this is like, remember guys, this is like my personal opinion. And I'm going to put Mera in A tier. I feel like Mera has always just been a better version of Goro. Goro should have some kind of flight, even if it's just an item that it can like fly with. If it's an umbrella that spins and it's powered by electricity, or even if it was like a, a glider, dude, it, it needs something to make Goro a little bit. The same with Gura, though. The fact that it, all of its moves is it nearly entirely based on PvP, and there's no kind of like quick AoE move. Like, okay, you do the big charge slam into the ground with Gura. But you know how long you have to hold that for? Yeah, it's a block breaker, but if you want to use it quick, it, it does hardly any damage, you know? Uh, Ito, it's entirely just a, it, it's just a PvP fruit. This isn't a PvP tier list, so I'm going to keep it a B tier for, for my personal, like, sake. The only great move, really, is the ultimate, and I don't want to have to use the ultimate every time I want to really hit a group of things. I mean, actually, it's got the whip, like, block breaker, but I don't know, Ito for me is very much just a PvP fruit. It just... Makes me cringe every time I get slammed by it. I mean, it's a great looking fruit, but this isn't a PvP tier list. This is a general overall leveling with friends and progressing around the map. I'm going to put it in a B list. Anyway, moving on. Like I said, Mera, you can solo dungeons with this all day long. Hiei, I know there's a Hiei way to solo OG. Zushi, I know there's a Zushi way. There are other ways, but I'm just ranking the other fruits based on what I think is fun for in-game experiences. Now... Let's go straight to Magu. Clearly, it's an S tier. It's water. It's high, high DPS. It's 
It's better damage than Pika, but with less mobility and less block breakers, of course. I do, I've had it, I've ate it twice. I can't really complain about this fruit. The only annoying thing is it doesn't have its kind of flight. Like, I'd, like Goro deserves more of a flight than Magu or anything like that. But I'd, I'd rather they had some kind of mobility movement, like Magu in the animes. He does shoot himself into, yeah, into the air uh, using Magu that comes out of the ground and stuff like that. You can't get too picky, though. But Magu is just a great all around. Like once you have Magu, you kind of set. You hit crazy damage. You can burn damage with the with the lava on the floor when you're a puddle. It's just a great fruit to have. You've made it once you've got Magu, Pika, or Tori. Now Pika, obviously S tier straight away. I've refused to eat this fruit for 15 months because I've always had mad respect for Tori. And I'm going to put Tori up in the S tier. I know it's crap for PvP. Nobody likes the moveset animations or anything like that. But when it comes to Pika and Tori, they're very much safe fruits to solo everything with. Pika, you're not as safe as what you are with Tori, but you do way more damage. You've got crazy mobility and block breakers if you have to get up close. Whereas Tori, if you keep your distance and you have a good stamina build and you know how to make a Tori build, it's a great overall fruit. Now for leveling, I mean, it's kind of A tier. I leveled with Tori. From zero to max. But yeah, Magu, Pika, Tori, these are great for, you know, gaining more fruits. Solo in OG Dungeon, solo in Cupids. They're, they're good fruits for overall anything. Tori, I'm kind of A tier, B tier. I'm not that happy with Tori being S tier. I am a Tori user on one of my accounts. I got Magu on another, and Guru on another. But Tori, leveling, yeah, it's A tier for leveling. But I want to say once you, once you start getting high, it is fun. In fact, do you know what? I'm going to A to it. Leveling on Tori is absolutely trash. It's absolutely trash, dude. The amount of stamina you need. Now I remember to even just use a move or be able to like pull off anything that has any sort of damage output or like rhythm. It was just so annoying. And until you're max level and you're hitting like 400s with burn damage on top, I mean, it's completely A tier. But there it is, guys. I kind of put all of the uncommons in D tier. You know, I put all of the rares in C. Although Bomb and Barry, I do rate high. The Barry move for leveling is just so easy. It's just constantly hitting something while you're up on a wall or something like that. Bomb the same. You just do your minefield, hold your, I can't remember what it is, but you hold a move down and it just explodes them. And you have your ultimate. Just get health potions from Shelltown, and you just keep stacking on health potions while you're doing your suicide move. And then we got like String, Goro, Gura. All of these fruits could be good leveling fruits, like they are kind of good. But compared to the above, when it comes to soloing dungeons, cupids, having fun with friends, and just being able to do whatever you want, you know? Anyway, that's going to do it for my review, the 15 months of playing this game, and what I think's fun to level with and hang out with friends. Now, I'll do a PvP tier list ranked thing next time. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Subscribe. Join the Discord. Notifications on, boys. Peace.